Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tobelani Nkosi Vusumuzingulube. I'm the group chairman and the first president of MDG Cyberspace Tech Group of Companies. And in this sector, we're discussing the MDG Cyberspace Wi-Fi local loop technology for remote areas or rural areas and ad advancing them for technological purposes on world pass standards. Our ethos within this division is we at MDG Cyberspace believe in the empowerment of all technological users from rural to urban settlements. With increased connectivity to the technological components, global economy becomes less skewed as there is a greater, con greater coverage of all users due to increase in participation of all user types. WWL, WLL, my apologies technology by MDG Cyberspace WLL provides an added value effect to economies that embrace the change in becoming world changes. Our vision going forward is increased connectivity through the usage of WLL technology from MDG Cyberspace WLL lead to the emergence of a global market due to the different demands of the new user base with the use of IPv6 broadband technology routing analysis and satellite technology from MDG Cyberspace and our global IT networking division. We also look at the economic implications of WLL. The economic implications will serve to sustain and advance de developing economies due to unsaturated economic activities that not take place due to increased connectivity. And also, this is also used in developed economies where remote, te uh, remote technology or non-technology is available in remote areas. In support of our vision, our mission statement through the strategic agreement with providers who are leaders in fixed line cellular users, MDG Cyberspace, WLL, harness them in the provision of affordable WLL in the rural areas with the usage of satellite connectivity Based on increased connectivity, services of MDG Cyberspace WRL add value to customers, business entities, government due to increased economic activity based on the connectivity that is now available. Our values of MDG Cyberspace WRL for remote areas, which is wireless local loop technology, is the empowerment of client for communicative purposes, increase in mobility, scalability, capacity planning of technological initiatives in remote rural areas, enhance connectivity amongst consumers, business, government entities through the use of Wi-Fi technology, IPv6 with broadband technology, routing analysis, MDG site and MDG cyberspace satellite technology management thereof. Also, there's easier management of WLL usage in the rural areas through the implementation of monitoring methodologies that are used to track network traffic and downtimes through routing analysis. We then go on to our activities that are fulfilled in our value chain, which is a core theme within all of our divisions of MDG Cyberspace Tech Group of Companies. We have primary activities, the use of W of Wi-Fi networks in the addressing of rural remote needs such as agriculture, production, hazard mitigation, energy production and the formation of a critical resource base. Secondary activity supports the general performance of the network in the tracking of traffic, determination of peak points before network goes down, counterbalance measures to ensure network downtime are kept to a minimum. The desired result for the Wi-Fi initiative is to attain a cluster or a group of networks designed to suit uh, the needs of remote areas based on demand and further breakdown of networks in the addressing of needs of niche markets, namely for uh, consumers, business entities and government entities within those remote areas. Our markets which we have identified for WLL technology with the use of IPv6 in conjunction with broadband technology, routing analysis, and MDG cyberspace satellite technological initiatives are basically as follows. You've got the consumer to consumers where connectivity between users via mobile devices are used in the selling and buying of goods in remote areas and rural areas. Consumers to business connectivity of 
consumers and business entities in linking mobile devices and business entity platforms via satellite and or fixed cellular or use of public telephone system and the use of WLR technology. Business to business, the connectivity between business entities on different platforms and conducting of business via satellite and or fixed lines which assist in their global competitive advantage. Business to government, connectivity of business entities, government entities on different platforms in conducting of business and formulating of policy via satellite and or fixed lines as the level of connectivity has increased. Therefore, the level of interaction in terms of information going to and from business to government is easily available. You've got your government to government, which is across our governmental uh, borders and government instruments within a given country. In terms of increased connectivity, you've got your consumer to your government on the different platforms and the formulating of policy via satellite and the fixed lines. And then we have um, two ways this can be done. You've got the SR500 system. This is a point-to-point -point multi system, multi-point system. Connectivity is from a fixed public line cellular provider, goes to your network. And then from your network, it goes to uh, the management center, which orchestrates the management of that communication, your central station, your TDMA, to your repeater terminal, and then it's distributed to the respective users. And then we have an incremental W setup, which is uh, the top end of it, which is your VSAT system architecture, which is the usage of satellites, which is what we at MDG Cyberspace have engaged in in this sector of our business. This is the usage of satellite uplink and the implementation of Wi-Fi technology, fixed tel telephone, cellular provider, where we have a master earth station, uh, which is linked to your satellite uplink and downlink connection, broadband technological outdoor unit, an indoor unit, and then you've got your terminal controller, and then you that you can connect your fax, PBX, LAN, PCs, and your mobile devices. As a, comp as a, as a comparative analysis, we look at the difference between the SR500 and the VSAT system architecture, which we at MDG Cyberspace are using. The SR500 uses the existing infrastructure, whereas the VSAT, which we use, we go in and install a new infrastructure. SR500, smaller market penetration due to user base, and the VSAT, satellites, larger market penetration due to user base. SR500 is a lower initial setup, but would increase due to maintenance. And then the VSAT, what we're using is a high initial setup cost, but due to technological changes, this would be subs this would substantially decrease. Or the SR500 is not robust based on its infrastructure. With the VSAT, what we're using is very robust based on its infrastructure. And then with the limited usability within and outside Wi-Fi with an SR500, and then you've got unlimited usability within and outside the Wi-Fi. This concludes our first part of our Wi-Fi, and we thank you for your time, and uh, we believe that together we shape dreams for day-to-day -day living. Thank you very much, and God bless you.